Hey everyone, April Dunham here. Today I want to talk about two new features that were just released for Power Apps that I'm pretty excited about. One is the JSON for Canvas apps, and the other is the new AI capabilities that were just released. I'm going to be walking through an example of how to use both of these in combination, where we can use the business card importer AI functionality in Power Apps to take an image of a business card, extract the data, add it to a SQL database, take the image, and add that to SharePoint using all of this functionality. But first, here's the intro. Let's walk through a demo of how this functionality works first, and then we'll break it down. Here I have a customer management power app. If I go to add a customer, I have a button here where I can use the new business card reader functionality in power apps. As you can see, I can click scan business card, upload an image of a business card, and this is going to use cognitive services in the back end to analyze that card and extract all the information from it. So now, if I click this checkbox, this is actually going to convert this image to JSON. It's going to call a flow that will parse that JSON and create a file of this business card in SharePoint. And it's going to add the data to the database and show me the returned scanned card info here. Cool. So you see I have a success message, so if I click here, it takes me to my SharePoint list with the scan business card image. Now if I go back to my app and close out of that, I'll see the image that out of the box without me having to do any code that it extracted the details for that card from. So your Donald Draper, Creative Director, and the address. Pretty awesome, right? All right, let's break this down and see how to make this work. So from the Power App side of things, all the magic is happening here on the screen. Now this is a preview feature, so it may or may not be in your tenant. But if we click Insert here, you'll notice a new option for AI Builder. If we click the drop down, there's actually several options here. So the Business Card Reader is one of the out of the box options. But there's some form processing and object detection AI capabilities that are pretty cool too. But if we want to use the Business Card Reader functionality, just insert one of those. And this is what the control looks like. So then let's look at the uh, check mark button here. This is where all of the magic is happening. I'm first collecting the image from the business card reader and putting it into a collection. So I'm saying that the picture is from the business card reader clean image. I'm giving it a name, saving it as a JPEG. Then I'm setting a variable in here for my JSON. So the new JSON function here, you just type in JSON, pass in the image that we collected here, and then make sure you um, put include binary data. And down here, I want to return the link of the image that's uploaded. So I'm setting an image link variable, and this is where I'm calling my flow. So I have a flow called JSON image. I'm passing in the JSON variable that I set here, and I'm getting the image link of it. And then below, this is where I'm adding the data that the AI has detected from the business card to my database. So I have a database called Contacts, and I'm just mapping all the properties. So as the business card reader goes through, it gets first name, last name, and all these different properties. So I'm just mapping them to the corresponding properties in my database. I'm adding that uh, to a variable here so I can pass in the ID of this item to my form and see the data in the app. All right, let's jump over to the flow and see how the flow is working to parse this JSON we're sending it and add it to SharePoint. So here I just created a flow that's triggered by Power Apps. And here I'm just putting a variable for that image link so I can push that back to Power Apps so the user can open up the image. Then you need to parse the JSON. So the content you're going to get from Power Apps, so you'll select Ask in Power Apps, and that's what we're passing in as we saw earlier. Then you'll need to define a schema, so click Use Sample Payload. 
go back to your power app and what I did was I just set a string or a label so if you insert a label here and set this label to that variable that we defined for our JSON earlier now we can see what that JSON is so we can just copy that and click use sample payload and paste that in and this will generate the sample schema for us now we need to loop through the parse JSON so put in the body of your parse JSON action and now we just create the file so map it to your SharePoint site the name would be the name from your parse JSON and for the file content we need to do one more expression here we need to use the data URI to binary function and pass in the picture property from our JSON. And finally here, this is just an extra step. I'm setting that variable of the image link uh, to the path of the newly created file. And then I am passing that back into Power Apps with the response Power Apps. I'm really excited about these new functionalities. There's so many things you can do with the new AI builder and especially the JSON. For, as you can see, it makes it so much easier to get images into SharePoint or OneDrive or wherever you want them to go, um, whereas in the past it was much harder. But now that we are able to put that into JSON, Flow can easily read that and create a file from it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.